A former Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adeole, has advised President Bola Tinubu to consider the Obasanjo Report Health Agenda for Nigeria and Oshibajo's Health Sector Reform Committee while revamping the health sector. Adewale gave the advice in Lagos in his keynote address of the May Ordinary General Meeting and Scientific Conference of the Nigeria Association of Resident Doctors, NARD. The ex-minister, who was represented by Dr. Ade Damola Dada, Medical Director, Federal Medical Center, Ebutemeta, said that there was need to set up a high-powered panel to review the two reports and generate a plan of action for Tinubu's administration in the health sector. And the two reports, they have to do with uh, health sector reforms. So that we need to put these two reports together and distill them. Okay, we're going to have a view to having a kind of holistic approach to healthcare sector reform of this country Thank in all ramifications. And um, I, uh, again, you had the, the guest speaker, and, uh, for the, sake of time, uh, the keynote speaker, let's say that. And all this, so in terms of these health area, reforms, are uh, essentially in the areas the of governance, governance structure, in the area of healthcare financing, in the area of personnel, vis a vis remunerations, the area of um, incentives, in the area of um, the healthcare infrastructure. Uh, then, of course, in the area of uh, the partnership. The issue of the, the sub team, which is about violence against uh, medical personnel. Uh, from Lagos University, we have shared a, a burden of that over the years. And I think we need to also set the agenda. We need to have the policy. We may have challenges, but uh, we should make sure that uh, violence, any act of violence against healthcare professional, professionals in Nigeria are punished adequately. Um, you know, we have a problem of Japa. The few numbers that are available here, people that are being molested, they are being harassed, sometimes physically, also psychologically, and I think we need to. I know that is not only limited to Nigeria, but uh, we are talking about Nigeria now. We need to resolve that. We need to send a very strong message that uh, healthcare professionals must be protected. Gathered erudite scholars to dilate and dissect all the issues in the health sector with regards to where we are today and where we are supposed to be, the things we are getting right and the things we are not getting right. And also a very important uh, something has to do with violence against healthcare professionals, which on its own People is contributing the to the brain drain that we have. You know. So the essence is that we deliberate on them extensively and, uh, like I said before, come up with uh, strategies that if government uh, implements, we believe it will help to sort out many of the challenges we have and uh, even help to curtail the current massive brain drain in the health sector that is threatening to collapse the health sector if not handled. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.